Hello everyone, welcome to this series of videos where we are working on different labs for AZ-104 exam, which is Microsoft Azure Administrator. All the labs that are available on the GitHub from Microsoft Learning. In the last few videos, uh, we have created an Azure application, created a staging and uh, development slot. Uh, we configured the deployment setting and in the last video, we deployed the code using a local local git environment we deployed the code to the master branch and we verified the code is available in our staging area okay in this video we'll try to finish up the last two tasks uh, under the implement web apps which are swap the staging slots and configure and test auto scaling of azure web app web apps so let's go to task 5 and let's start working on it so here is the is is the beginning of this task. Uh, navigate back to the blade displaying the production slot of the web app. So let's go to our environment. So if you're following along with the videos, you already know we have only one app that we deployed at the beginning of this app. When you go to the app under deployment slot, we have two different deployment slot, the production slot that we deployed at the very beginning. We have been working with the staging slot and for the staging slot what we did we went to the deployment center and then we configured the deployment credential for a user and we used that particular user uh, to deploy our code uh, using this uh, git clone URL okay and once the deployment was done we went to the web app uh, URL and we made sure that the code is available so let's go back so home let's go back to the lab now navigate to the blade display production slot of the web app so what we need to do let's go back to our web app and this time we're gonna stick to the production slot we have been working with the with the staging and this time we're gonna stick to this it says deployment slots okay so I have not selected anything so I'm I am selected on this slot right now okay uh, in the deployment section click deployment slot and then click swap toolbar icon so click on swap toolbar icon so this icon brings up this uh, new options for us that we are going to configure. On the swap blade, review the default settings and click swap. So what they're saying, just look at the default setting. Source was this, target was this. Source is this staging area, target is the production area. Swap with preview can only be used with sites that have deployed auto setting enabled so we don't want that uh, and the old value PHP version is 5.6 and with with the app we're using 7.3 so that's all good so just click on swap click overview of the production slot blade of the web app and then click URL link to display the website homepage in a new browser tab okay so this is this was deployed uh, this was the uh, home page of the production environment before we did the uh, swapping and it's performing the swap between the slot staging and slot at the moment so if you take out this it may still show you the previous so this page yeah it's still showing this page because that is what uh, was there when we first deployed our our code okay so that once the swap is done this code will be updated and if you try to go there you will see hello world and not this app that is displayed displayed right now so let's go back and it says successfully completed swap between slot staging staging and production so at this time I would expect this to ah, there we go hello world 
So the the code. So what you have done right now, you have you are, you are satisfied with the code that you deployed in your staging area. Now you have show up. You have taken the code from your staging area and you put it in the production area. So that's all. We all went well, well, very well. And we have verified that the default web app has been replaced with the Hello World page. So we have completed task five. Now. I was thinking about doing auto scaling but since auto scaling is a completely new feature let's do it in the next video I'm going to end this video here uh, thank you for watching and good luck with the exam uh, hope to see you in the next video